Do you play Apex? Are you helpless like me? Can you never get any kills or wins? If so, if you answered yes, watch this video. Whilst you're here, you may as well comment, like, and subscribe, but just do what the buttons tell you to do. I've probably got it in the wrong order anyway. Well, you're probably thinking, why have I uploaded this video? All right, I wanted to do something a bit different. I'm going to alternate it from now on. I'm going to do one funny moment and then one tip so you can get one video every week. Thinking about you, I can be a kind. As you can tell by the title, the, the tips in this video are more for people who kind of know how it works and you've put in quite a few hours, but you want to take it take it up a little knot you actually know a little bit more so i'll just i'm just going to go through all the tips that i have written down and i know write them down yourself if you want get yourself a little post-it so this one i didn't really know about but all the characters in apex legends actually have different size hitboxes which means some are more easy to hit than others so wraith and lifeline have the smallest hitboxes which obviously people consider the best and gibraltar who's my guy that i play a lot and caustic <laughs> have the worst ones. No wonder I'm always dying, that's gotta be it. It's the big hitbox in it, it's not because I'm bad. Obviously most people know this, but knockdown shields can be activated whilst you're knocked down to protect the area directly in front of you, but different tiers of knockdown shield take different amounts of damage before breaking, and melee or executing a down player will ignore the knockdown shield. So if you've got someone running towards you and they've got the look of death in their eye, just give up, just give up. Jump sliding is obviously the fastest way to move around, so like jump and then Give yourself a little skid, like you used to doing a disco at school on your knees. And uh, it helps you build momentum as well, especially down hills and when you're trying to get away from enemies. Everyone moves at the same speed, although a lot of people seem to think they don't. It's just the hands. Like, if you've got Gibraltar, obviously, he, his clumpy little hands are going to be flying a bit slower than Rafe's. And then you've got Bangalore, who can actually move faster when she gets shot because it's like a passive ability. But... Trust me, alright, they've confirmed it. Everyone runs at the same speed. It's not a race. You know the big balloon things around the map? Yeah, you can use them so they can fly you into the air and you can glide for a little bit. I personally think they should actually throw you for a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, everyone has a different opinion. And you can land on one of the tall cliffs or rocks across the map. But you can not You can only stay there for about 30 seconds because obviously a countdown starts and it tells you to get off. And maybe you could land on the rocks, use them to look around for enemies and then go and push the enemies or run away if you're a little wet wipe like me. Or Always stay on the move. So this one's pretty obvious and you can you should never really stay in the same position. If you finish like looting one area, just move on to the next or just keep running around the, the, the area in circles. Like don't just stop and sit in a building. This isn't Call of Duty, alright? This is Apex. This is real life. So this one might be a bit different for other people, but the top performing weapons right now, not in a particular order, are the Wingman, Peacekeeper the Carbine, the R99 and the M600 Spitfire. So there's a chart which I'll put on the screen now and it tells you basically which one is used the most and which one's the most popular without any upgrades on. It might be down different for you. You might like the triple take, for example, which is the, the worst one on this chart. But who knows? Like, whatever tickles your fancy, all right? Whatever tickles your pickle. And don't forget, listen out for the footsteps, okay? I do this all the time because me and my friends just insult each other while they play the game. So I never actually hear the footsteps coming and then I just get a Mozambique to the back of the head and I'm dead. Don't forget though, but Apex Legend is a close quarters game. So think twice before you shoot someone in the head with a longbow and then you think, oh right, yes, I've just clapped them in the head. Because by the time you get to them, they would have put some heal on and they'll be ready to fight for you. So wait before you're near enough to cause some real damage. So sit back if you want with your longbow. Let your two teammates like flank up near them. Then shoot them in the head so they can get them straight away. Or just get a little bit closer before you hit them. So don't shoot from the other side of the map. Because before you get there, they're going to put their shield back on. So the advantage in Apex Legends generally goes to the aggressor. So to whoever notices the other team first and initiates the fight. Because obviously you're going to get the first shots off and you can pick Pick your targets which one you want so say if you don't want Rafe teleporting away take out Rafe the little cheeky so third party in is obviously looked down upon all right everyone hates it when someone sits around the corner they see you come in pop out and then pump you in the head with a shotgun as you get close but if you find yourself in a tough spot focus on repositioning and healing and just don't try and fight because you're gonna lose like you may as well just go sit behind a rock third party heal up and then go back in all right no one needs a hero apart from the lady who sang that song I can't remember how it goes Obviously, you have to stick as a team, and the guy who's the jump master, he's the master. You have to stay with him. You should detach from them just before you land, though, so you can head to different buildings. Because if you all run into the same one, everyone's going to be spamming the pickup button. You might end up with six bullets, he might end up with a gun, and your mate might end up with a blue helmet. Like, 
how is that going to benefit anyone? This one isn't really known as much. I do see a lot more people doing it now though. But if you're right over the top of a location, obviously just dive straight down. But if the location is further away, then you should use the wave drop technique, which is where you go down, straight, down, straight, down, straight. Because as you hit like the straight, you get like a little boost of speed, something like that. But obviously there's a guide for that on the internet as well. So if you type in wave drop technique on Google, trust me. So this is the last one here, and obviously all of these tips here, you're going to win the game. Like You have no choice now, you've got to win a match. And if they have helped, let me know because I'm curious. Because if they have, then I'll carry on making videos. Because I've got plenty more that I want to make. I've got another like 20 tips or so which I have found. If you want them, let me know and I'll put them in another video. The last one is obviously supply bins each contain three pieces of loot. And they always appear in exactly the same locations every match. However, other forms of loot such as floor loot and the loot ticks are random. So the same is true for the hot zone and the supply ships which differ in location each match. And of course, there's going to be a loot guide as well. I can link all of these in the description for you but i want you to do a bit of research okay this isn't all about me it's also to do with you if you have enjoyed like i said don't forget to subscribe let me know if you want anything else like more tips on apex or different games let me know what games you want tips and for the people who usually watch my videos funny moments will be next week and then the week after will be a tip i want to split it up i want to be able to make different content and so i can just reach a wider audience there's nothing wrong with that okay and i hope you enjoyed don't forget you better win because I'm watching. I can see everything you do on Apex, all right? You know, you know you have like the little like character who sits on your shoulders in some games and like tells you what to do. That's me. I'm in Apex, okay? Anyway, enough of me talking. I'm fed up of hearing my own voice. I'm going to go and have a uh, I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea, grab some custard creams and watch Peppa Pig.